Hello and welcome everyone, it's Martin here with Crypto Gains. First of all, I'd like to talk a little bit about a small bit of market psychology that I think we observed over the weekend. First of all, Bitcoin price crashed over 850 after Biden was confirmed as the US president-elect. Well, I think this was not a case so much of selling Bitcoin or turning bearish on Bitcoin, but rather it was profit-taking. And in financial markets, this is a phenomenon known as the buy the rumor, sell the news. Very often market participants make their positions and take bets based on what they anticipate to happen. In this case, the anticipation was Biden winning. And then as soon as the speculation or Biden winning becomes news or becomes reality, they take profits. And I think this is exactly what we observed with Bitcoin prices over the weekend. But... As the article suggests, Bitcoin is still set to rally. And one of the good reasons for that is that Biden is set to tap pro-crypto Gary Gensworth as financial advisor. And Mr. Gensworth also used to teach PA courses in MIT about Bitcoin and blockchain and how they can be integrated in finance. So if this appointment is indeed made, it's likely to bring cryptocurrencies into the regulation, make them more mainstream and thus support Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But diving into today's analysis, on the 4-hour chart we see a fairly bullish formation of a triangle pattern in Bitcoin versus Tether. What we are seeing is that at the moment the MACD line is just a little bit below the red signaling line. So what I will do is I would anticipate either a break out of that triangle pattern or for the blue MACD line to cross above the red signaling line on the 4-hour chart to initiate long positions with a target around the 16,000 which I said is not only possible but very likely and I said that in the video last week I still believe that this is going to happen any pullbacks are going to be opportunities for us to initiate more long positions in Bitcoin versus Tether. The relative strength index remains strong on the 4-hour chart at 59. What we can see on the daily chart is that the setup is altogether still quite bullish. We're remaining overbought territory with relative strength index reading above 70. And in addition to that, both the MACD line and the signaling line healthily above zero. The MACD line trailing tra above the red signaling line. Next, I'd like to discuss an opportunity in Chainlink versus Tether. And again, on the 4-hour chart, we're observing yet another formation of a fairly bullish triangle. We're testing that upper range of the triangle at the moment. And again, very close reading of the blue MACD line and the red signaling line. Once again, my signal here is just to wait for a break outside of that triangle to initiate long positions with initial target at 13.5. If it breaks to the downside, we may be seeing retesting of that 11.5 area, which now is acting as support. On the longer term chart, we're seeing that we're still in a fairly robust uptrend. The relative strength index at 62 is bullish. Same with the MACD formation with the MACD line above the signaling line. I hope that makes sense to you. Continue with your further education on the video education section with, with the Crypto Gains Market Insights subsection. And of course, to receive daily, daily signals, remember to join our Crypto Signals Made Easy group with lots of insightful articles and precise signals for your trading. Thank you very much for joining me today. Trade wisely and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Hey, thanks a lot for tuning in and if you liked what you see and you're not already with us, click on the link in the description below and become part of the StormGain community. That way you will never miss another opportunity and you will become a more profitable crypto trader. See you soon.